What's up y'all, I've got another coffee review for you today and this is another one from Black Oak Coffee Roasters. The second that I was sent, actually they sent both of them together, but this is the second one I'm reviewing and it is the Gedeb Lot 002 and it comes from Ethiopia and it is named after the city of Gedeb. And I'm just gonna save you some time right now you can turn off this video after I say this and just go out there and order this because in my opinion, this is probably the best coffee I've had all year, or at least that I've reviewed. And I'm really a big fan of Ethiopian coffees, so that might have a lot to do with it. But in any case, I thought that this was so, so consistently sweet and delicious that there was really no harm in recommending it because I honestly had some some brews that with different coffees they probably would have come out terribly under extracted over extracted just based off of the parameters themselves so for example the first time I brewed this up was in a Chemex and it like took probably about seven minutes to brew the thing which is pretty ridiculously long but the result was a really sweet, balanced cup of coffee with major blueberry flavor and a nice balanced aftertaste. So kind of like those, those chocolate notes in the backside of, of, the, of the sip. So I'm really thrilled with this one. It is a lot that comes from the Worka Cooperative. So that is who produced this coffee. It is approximately, I believe according to Black Oak, 411 different farmers. Uh, this coffee is grown anywhere, I believe it was up to 2,700 meters above sea level, which is ridiculously high elevation. So there's a lot of complexity in this cup. I was actually not picking up as much as Black Oak did, but again, I, I would say that it probably had more to do with my palate and the way I was brewing than it did with um, the coffee itself. So let's take a look at the beans. They are of the heirloom variety, it's a very common and native variety to Ethiopia. Ethiopia, of course, is where coffee was discovered. And man, I wish I had another bag of this stuff because honestly, I couldn't get enough. So let's talk about the tasting notes. Black oak picked up ripe peach, grape, jasmine. I know on their website they mention a whole bunch of other things like um, pepper, uh, they mention pineapple. Really a lot of complexity uh, picked up by black oak. So for me, while the aroma was something kind of like reminiscent of coconut, the, the flavor itself was major, major blueberry and then there was also some milk chocolate interspersed in there, as well as that great flavor that Black Oak was picking up. So really cool that there was some crossover there. And I'm surprised that Black Oak didn't really list blueberry as a flavor note. I know that's a very common way of describing Ethiopian washed coffees and maybe they didn't want to be trite, but I was picking it up in pretty much every single brew from espresso to V60 to AeroPress. And hey, I like blueberries and they're very rich in antioxidants if you didn't know. So my friends, once again, if there's one coffee that you were to try this year, this is the one that I would recommend at least at this point. We're coming up on the end of the year, it's October right now, but this coffee was just so sweet and consistent, forgiving, balanced. It basically met every single 
criterion that I use to review copies. So I would highly recommend it. It is USDA organic, certified fair trade. So all that good stuff. And once again, it was roasted by Black Oak Coffee Roasters out of Ukiah, California. A lot better than the Colombian I had, but you know that Colombian was also quite, quite good. This one was just on a whole other level. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you've tried this coffee, let me know. Leave a comment below. If you have questions, of course, I'm happy to try and answer them. And feel free to subscribe, share, like, and trash me like YouTubers love to do.